In today's video, we will build a habitat for the saltwater crocodile and I will also do two giveaways to celebrate 20,000 subscribers. Hello guys, this is Cesar Creates and welcome back to my channel. And welcome back to the Elm Hill City Zoo, where we'll be adding another reptile to the reptile house that we are currently building in the zoo. And today we'll add another crocodilian, and this is the saltwater crocodile. This crocodile is considered to be the largest reptile on Earth. Uh, the males can grow up to 6 meters, which is insane. They are native to the northern Australia, eastern India and South East. East Asia. Uh, they are excellent swimmers. Uh, their name actually comes from uh, the areas where it lives. Uh, so the saltwater crocodile can often be found in brackish waters, fresh waters or even completely salt water in the ocean. And they are considered to be very aggressive when it comes to uh, guarding their territory. Uh, so there are a lot of uh, human attacks actually uh, when it comes to those crocodiles. So if you'll ever be in Australia or any place like this, make sure to be careful. Uh, Australians actually refer to them as salties. So uh, quite a cute name for a, such an enormous and uh, like incredibly dangerous animal. I must say that our Elm Hill City Zoo is a bit unique and lucky to actually house the saltwater crocodile because they're very not popular in European zoos and as you guys know the Elm Hill City Zoo is to, supposed to be located somewhere in the central part of Europe and it is actually very difficult to find them in the European zoos. I know that there is one or two of them in the Barcelona Zoo because I saw it there but supposedly there is also a saltwater crocodile in a Tallinn Zoo in Estonia. So if you are in Europe and you would like to see those majestic creatures, those are the places that you should go to. They are of course much more popular in zoos in Australia, in Asia and in some US zoos. You can also find them uh, but in Europe it is quite unique to have them but our Elm Hill City Zoo is quite unique because it also houses a platypus and you cannot find a platypus in any zoo in Europe but you know the Elm Hill City Zoo is just the best so <laughs> who is surprised that we have all of those uh, unique and rare species in here. So the enclosure that we are going to build today for the saltwater crocodile will be very similar to the enclosure that we've built last time for the gharials. I'll be actually coping some things over from this enclosure, so if you haven't seen that video, uh, I would recommend to do it, the link will be down in the description and on the screen right now. Uh, and this is all intended, those enclosures were meant to be a very similar, very seamless basically, because uh, I wanted to create this uh, river for different types of crocodiles in this reptile house. So this is basically like a walkthrough exhibit with the crocodilians, uh, where the guests are you know watching them from those elevated uh, I know bridges or platforms uh, and you have this river that is divided into three different enclosures uh, with three different types of crocodilians uh, so we'll have gharials in here we'll have the saltwater crocodile that I am building an enclosure for today and in the next one we will build an enclosure for the alligators uh, so this is basically the plan and it all is supposed to look seamless like a one big river for those guys uh, with uh, similar ideas, similar plants, rocks, decorations and so on. Uh, we'll have only one saltwater crocodile living in here and this will be a female. Uh, the male is so massive that I decided that it is probably a bit too big for this habitat and you often have uh, those creatures living, to get, living alone in the zoos. They are solitary uh, so it is totally realistic to have only one and we have a female in here uh, and she looks just amazing and majestic in this habitat and uh, I think that uh, I was able to make it look even a bit more better than the Gariels. Basically I knew right now what I wanted, I knew what I was going for, there were, weren't too many trials, too many you know uh, attempts to make it look nice so I just went for it and built it and that's why this video is probably a bit shorter because 
I had so many things done in the last episode that I was able to just to copy them over here. Uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed working on it. I really enjoy uh, lately working for uh, animals that are from the base game. As you guys could see, uh, there are a lot of those hub animals added recently uh, to different zoos. Uh, but I like to go back to those animals to give them a little bit love. Uh, they are definitely not at the same level as the animals that we are getting right now. The new animals from the Arid Animal Pack are just so beautiful. I love all the screenshots uh, that Planet Zoo is releasing. Uh, I know that some people have some issues with the sand cut, uh, with the shape of the heads and so on, but I would just wait to see it in the game. Maybe it was just a bad screenshot because I just cannot believe that right now Planet Zoo would make a bat animal. So I think that we should just wait and see it in the game to have a <laughs> up close look and then judge if it's actually uh, well made or not but the other animals they all look so so good and when it comes to the arid pack there are two things that i would like to talk with you guys in today's video first of all we will be taking a little break from the reptile house because of course i want to focus right now uh, on adding the uh, animals from the arid pack to the elm hill city zoo we'll add some of them to the uh, african section that we have in the zoo and some of them will be just located in different parts of the zoo I already have uh, places in mind for most of them. Uh, I hope you don't mind that there will, will be a slight break from the reptile house. I think that this is for the better because uh, you know how many uh, crocodile habitats we can build. Uh, like one after the other it will get boring after some time. So taking a break from that ab absolutely makes sense. After we'll be done adding some of the animals from the arid pack I will just go back to the reptile house to finish it. So yeah that was the first thing and the second thing is something that I teased in the last video at uh, the Warhawk habitat from the Desert Adventure Park uh, but yeah what I wanted to say is that I promised you a giveaway for 20,000 subscribers to celebrate this amazing milestone and the giveaway will just basically happen right now <laughs> so there will be actually two giveaways one is uh, for a steam code for the Arid Animal Pack DLC uh, and the second one is for the tickets uh, to uh, my local zoo in Gdańsk. Okay so let's start with the first one. So I'll be giving away free codes for the Arid Animal Pack uh, and what you need to do to win this is something cool. I, I think at least <laughs> because I would like you to support our Planet Zoo community. So what you need to do to enter this giveaway is to subscribe, but not to me. Uh, just go on YouTube and find someone who is releasing or released the Planet Zoo video in the past and subscribe to their channel. And then go back to this video and comment down below who you did subscribe to. This way you might discover someone whose videos you will like and you will start watching them. Uh, and yeah this is I think that this is a really cool way of supporting our community uh, so yeah what you need to do once again is to go uh, subscribe to someone that you haven't been subscribed yet and comment their name uh, down below for example I subscribed to uh, this and this person uh, there are so many cool amazing planet zoo creators here on YouTube uh, I could you know just throw names at you but I actually want you to discover someone that that you don't know or you just I don't know forgot to this subscribe to or you just heard about them and didn't have a chance to watch anything uh, from them uh, so go and do that and go back to me and tell me who you subscribe to uh, and of course I will be I will be randomly uh, choosing the winner and I will announce the winners uh, and the day that uh, uh, Arid Pack comes out so on Tuesday 20th of June uh, and I will reply to those people in the comments saying uh, that you won and you'll have 24 hours to uh, to go back to me and 
with a message on any of my social media and we will, uh, you know, just settle how I will give you the code uh, because we will probably have to be friends on Steam. I will also probably make a community post uh, with the winners uh, and uh, I will try to do it as soon as the pack comes out so you guys will have a chance to play it as soon as, as it is out. Uh, so yeah, this was all when it comes to the first giveaway. The second giveaway is, as I told you, for the tickets of to my local zoo in Gdańsk. I got so many tickets from this zoo uh, because my channel is sponsoring animals in that zoo. Uh, so this giveaway is specifically for people who uh, actually have a chance to go and see that. Uh, please don't enter this giveaway if you are, you know, just too far away or you won't make it here uh, because you'll be just taking this opportunity for from people who might actually have a chance to see this uh, wonderful zoo uh, themselves so probably people from my country from Poland will be more interested in that giveaway but maybe there are some foreign people that plan to come to Poland this summer uh, those tickets are valid uh, till the end of May next year so you actually have some time to visit the zoo and there will be also free winners and to each of those winners I will send two tickets. So uh, there are six tickets in total to win but three winners so you get it how it works. Uh, of course I will send them through mail so you'll need to give me your address uh, but I hope you guys are fine with that. But what you need to do is uh, just comment down below the name of your local zoo or the zoo nearest to you that you uh, visit frequently and also tell me which habitats from this zoo you think that I should have a look at and I should recreate on my channel uh, or build something inspired by it. Uh, if your local zoo has some really nice exhibits and you would like to, you know, just give me that, <laughs> just, you know, give me some inspiration for my builds, uh, that would be amazing. So, uh, for example, to enter the giveaway, you need to comment something like uh, oh my local zoo is for example Warsaw Zoo and my favorite habitat from it that you should try to recreate on your channel is the hippopotamus uh, exhibit from that zoo. The winners will be also contacted on the same day and uh, you will have 24 hours to reply to the comment or you know send me a message uh, with the details where I should uh, send the tickets. If you won't reply I will just contact another person and uh, of course the uh, all the end Entries will be chosen randomly. So yeah, those are basically the rules for the giveaways. Uh, good luck. I hope you guys will win. <laughs> of course, not all of, all, all of you will win, but uh, I wish you all the good luck and I'm so happy to actually make this. I think it's so cool. And of course, I'm making it to say thank you uh, for 20,000 subscribers, which is still mind blowing. Thank you guys so much. Okay, so this is all that I have time for in this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching it. Of course, you'll see the finished uh, habitat in the cinematic shots right after my goodbyes. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a big thumbs up down below. Ring the bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed today's video and if you haven't done it yet. Uh, comment down below if you enjoyed it. Comment down below with your entries to win the DLC and also the tickets to Dines zoo uh, and yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one bye guys